Hello, hello. We are back once more with uh, uh, Valkyrie the Bloody. And we've managed to ambush a force marching army with Valkyrie. So that's good. And we're going to even fight it manually because I want to. Uh, yeah. Seems like a good enough reason, doesn't it? Now, some of these things might be a little difficult to fight, but most of it shouldn't be a problem. Chaos Warriors, of course. We should just pretty much slaughter everything. Especially since we've got Chaos Knights as well. Chaos Knights I'm going to send into the artillery, and then we'll go from there with them. The Trolls and the Spawn. Slightly harder prospect, but, you know. It'll be right. It will be fine. So what we're going to do with our Chaos Warriors, including them too. Oh, these are decent. Uh, I'll take, take all of them. We'll put them into a locked control group. Uh, now send Valkyr up against the probably the Hydra. Going to send our hero up against the sorceress. Knights, we want into the cavalry. Monsters, we just want to kind of get them in as well. Alrighty. So let's go. Let's go. A portal. Say goodbye to your artillery. Uh, what? Might as well just chuck these on for her. That if she can successfully destroy all of that. Victory is already in our grasp. That's good. Wow. They're actually copping a fair bit of pain there. If we can pull you lot out of that, uh, you can go assist here, let's chuck that down there. Gore Queen, get back into him, please. How are we doing? Really good overall by the look of things. Back into the Kerberos. I'm going to at least break it. They are on Force March so it's not too big a deal. With a lot of these things. Yeah, get into the Witch Elves there please. That's good. Oh, that's shattering. The Gore Queen. Oh, that War Hydra is coming back. Go for him. Carnet's blessings. Bit more speed for you. Executing. Covering ground. There we go. Didn't take long at all. Minimal character tees. I think we took most of them on those two units by the look of it. That's okay. That's okay. They might not have really taken much in the way of casualties. Yeah, they really didn't. Uh, sisters have slowed up. But they got wrecked. Oh, look at that. Those chosen a con with dual weapons. 108 kills. Don't know what they were fighting exactly, but... They just destroyed whatever it was. Jeez. Need more. <laughs> of course, that just means upgrading a bunch of these guys. Which isn't too big a stretch, to be honest. <coughs> Knights of Corn did okay as well, but, you know, replacing them with Skull Crushers would be good too. Good, good. I'll take that. I think she was in Force March anyway. will still easily outpace 
for that when it comes to replenishment, so no worries. Basically didn't lose a thing. Especially when you only lose 36. Oh. Looks like the dwarves are going to come and hit us at Chill Road, eh? Dwarves can be problematic. Why am I being raided by my own vassal there? Seems a bit weird. Oh, whatever. Oh, look, his jaw hook cool is a uh, exalted hero of Nurgle. Whereas in my Bellacor campaign, it's a, he's a uh, exalted hero of Corn. Much better option, in my opinion. For a little while, I was trying to make various armies, but now I've kind of decided on it. It's just like Corn is the probably the best option, especially when there's. Uh, psychological damage being done by uh, dragon riding lords which turned out to be a massive pain in the ass okay unbridled fury or uh, no we're not really worried about the tribute so. enemy killed in battle Valkyr the bloody. Valkyr the bloody wants to head this Move. direction Towards Blackrock. Blighted Cove isn't going to give us a lot, so. Corn's gaze lingers uh, around there's a small military presence there. Got a pretty good garrison, I might. Be quiet or die. If I can ambush it out, probably won't be able to. That's alright. Uh, back over in this direction. So, I the dwarves do have a pretty good <laughs> army. We do not have that good an army. Uh, bring him down though. Our bar loses a lot. Uh, good bath death dealer. Could actually send him that way now. Yeah, let's do that because there's no dwarven army there now. Well, there might actually be, but... We will head that way anyway. Uh, rank 17. Being rank 17, you can have Infernal Champion. Yep, yep. Uh, rank 41 for Cormac. He's run out of things to go for up there. We've done that. I guess we go for Specialist with him. Abal, who loses a lot. We we'll go for hammer into anvil with him because he's got all the way up there. Yep. Rewards for the mighty. Uh, Stop the shields. Uh, nothing good there. You can take uh, the armor trolls. That's good. Uh, let's go for Valkyr. I want to upgrade some of hers too. So go for skull crushes. I'm thinking I'm going to get some more chosen. Maybe just three. Yeah, we'll go the lot. Screw it. Make her army ridiculously overpowered with chosen. Wish I could turn them into like chosen of corn. All of them can become skull crushers as well. Uh, our army's already getting pretty expensive there, so let's just leave that for the moment. Uh, we've still got that one running. Oh yeah, just one more turn to get another one of them. Uh, how many do we actually have in the recruitment pool at the moment? Because you get one generally straight off. Generally. Okay, yeah, one more turn and then we'll pack that one in. We'll go through the end turn. I've never actually seen what happens when the uh, eye fully opens either, so. Do you end up with like chaos demon armies spawning everywhere to ruin your day? Or. 
Is it helpful? Like, I don't know. I just don't know. That was inevitable. Especially since Alithana has the um, ambush move option. So it's never going to happen. Never, ever. Alithana was going to destroy them. These guys are getting to be a f relatively large um, vassal faction. Yep, that was to be expected. Slice of defeat. Yeah, oh, fuck, they lost nothing as well. Jeez. Like, I'm not that concerned here. Again, I don't make anything off that other than just having it. But I don't want to fight those dwarves in an open field. They would just tear me to pieces with artillery and armor piercing missiles. So, again, if we can ambush them, that's a whole different story. But mm, straight up, no, no, not, not what I want to do. We need to be cunningly violent against them. Uh, oh, yeah, we can hit the Bilious Cliffs, okay. That's fine. Oh, they do have a full army there at Black Rock. Mm. Though I do now have an army of Chosen of Corn, but I'm betting there'll be a lot of uh, missile troops in that army. And her ambush was foiled, that's a bummer. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of difference. We'll just kind of keep him in the bushes there. Bring you around. Anyone home? No. Excellent. Alright, close victory. No, I don't really think it'll be that close. I think it'll be quite a decisive victory, actually, but... We're going to go for a manual fight. So, monsters, uh, heroes, and lord, we're going to send in through the gates. Our chaos warriors, I think we'll just climb the walls with them. And we'll do it just here, I think, on this side. These guys all have armor piercing as well, so they'll actually do very well against um, the dwarves. We've just got to try and get their ranged into melee. Depends what they do out from the walls anyway. If they don't have any uh, shooting troops on the walls, well, we might as well just smash our way through the gate and into melee and slaughter them. Really? Really? Really, really? Once the, the uh, battle finishes loading, I remember on the dwarves are actually okay melee combatants, but against the monsters with the armor um, piercing, they will lack. They will come up second best. Alright, so monsters, tally ho, pip pip. You guys and our ward and all the heroes up the front here get all that selected. Uh, get you guys nice and close into the wall and you guys as well. Oh, that's uh, those might be nasty towers. And we are going to try and put a couple of our units up on the walls. Now our uh, corn units are probably going to take a fat load of damage from those towers, I reckon. Oh yeah, they do fuck loads of damage there. If they can 
get their axes over the wall. Oh yeah. A little bit of hit in there. It's cool. Oh, looks like they've already actually busted through the walls there. Right, let's get all of the... aren't shooting anymore and wow we took a fair bit of beating from them yeah, that's it come on need just to get through please let's not worry about going through anymore let's just get in here with them Monsters need to really destroy things there. Get in there, Chaos Warriors, let's go. They're doing pretty well there. Ah, getting shot up a bit. Increase their abilities a bit. Yeah, come on, go, go, go. Yeah, they're going to get wrecked over that side now. No worries at all. Get the hero and the lord over into the thunderers, please. Oh, they're all riding. Uh... I won't stand a chance against that. No wonder they're just destroying everything they come into contact with. Oh, doing okay here. just stand in there so I'm actually not concerned about him. Right, they're broken so we're going to send the heroes and lord that way now. Is there anything left up here? There is. They're bringing some more dwarf warriors in for us. So let's send them off that way. Sorted. They'll sort out those uh, arches there. Yeah, that's going fine there. Chaos Warriors are sorting them out good and proper. Lord in here. There we go. There we go. Victory's ours. No worry at all. Easy. Easy. Yeah, see, I didn't think it was going to be close. Monsters did a good job, man. The uh, Lord and Heroes on their juggernauts just really wreck infantry, don't they? No chance. 
None. Even with all that firing that they got through, still basically did nothing. Always nice. Go, go, go. Faster, faster. God, just, just that little tiny. There it is. That's better. All right. So that is, that's, uh, we're going to sack that one because we can't really do a great deal with it. We are also going to occupy it, just turn it into a altar. Go, lovely. That's a good win. It's a lot of stuff we can actually hit down here if they don't have the armies for it. Uh, Valkyr. My visions predict failure. Yeah, see, I don't think that's a good one for us to just go awakens. straight and fight. So what we'll do is go straight and fight this one. Got. Yeah, yeah, cool. No worries. Always good to have decisive victory like that. Uh, we're gonna sack it. And then we'll gift it to our vassal. Oh, potion of healing. Nice. And we'll gift to vassal. That's good. We'll jump into ambush stand. See if we can lure out that army to come. Try and retake that. Fate of Blood Time. Uh, Windmaker. Level 21, eh? What if I've given him stuff? Uh, let's go for Hearts of Iron just to reduce Vigor loss. Got that. Oh, he can become a demon. He's got stuff. Cool. He's got stuff too. We can have that one. We can have Infernal Champion. Level 50 Gore Queen. Um, we're just going to finish off Premonition, I think. Cormac Specialist. Golator takes your heart. And he'll he's a Hellblade on it. Cool. Couple of good wins there. Always nice. Uh, Gift of Chaos. Don't need that anymore. Not that one anyway. Um, so we've got them. I'm sure we already did the Skull Cannons. Uh, done them. May as well get a couple of these in. We're not quite up to being able to get the bloodthirsters yet, so go for them. Turns to be can be exchanged. Yep, that's fine. Uh, if we go to one of our lords, we can see what we've got that we can recruit. So we do need more blood letters in there. We've got some Chaos War Shrine units couple of them, we've got four skull cannons. Good, good, good. One more tech there. We've got a lot of money we can spend. So let's have a look. Fortress of the Dam. Currently go that reduces warband upgrade but gives us an extra chaos warrior slot. Let's grab that. Uh, that doesn't no it does give us an extra chaos warrior slot, but it's also rank five now, so let's do some stuff worthy of a rank five city in here. Corruption, extra hero. Uh, uh. Don't 
really need that anymore, but I'll keep it just because there's not much else to really build in a lot of these sort of places. Uh, Northern Waste, you can have that as well. Uh, yes, we need more money coming in, so I want that. That will also get us more money for the local region. Frigid Wasteland. Uh, oh, we're rebuilding something there. Cool, that looks good. Go through the end turn and see what we get. Valkyrie is getting pretty unstoppable with her army. I want to get her some skull crushes next. I mean, she's got the. Uh, huh, nice. Big army wandered off from the big town. Big town's going to become Valkyrie's. Um. No, she's got everything else she really needs now, so getting the skull crushes in there will make her nice and powerful. Okay, well, yeah. That's fine. Because what we can do is, if he's just going to go along on that we can go along just raising behind him and any armies that come along to then uh, uh, settle there we will be able to destroy them very easily because they'll be at half strength and we get to raise lots of things for corn it's not really a problem so one of our vassals, that green one that we start with, the Hmong? Yeah, the Hmong. They've, they've now at least gotten their um, uh, original lands back. Which is good. They just have to rebuild them a little. Uh, gonna go for display of might. Ambush foiled is fine. Ah, yep. And now, what we want. Go for that. Not chain beast, demonic pact. Ah, uh, good for with all of them. Yeah, yeah, we went on. More strength for slaughter. Construction, to less construction time is the main thing we wanted there, I believe. Uh, Gulgar's death dealer. We're going to send him scouting down here a little now. See what there is. There are two full armies there. Fantastic. Uh, here. We'll send him to hit that. I'm just going to auto resolve it. And we're actually going to raise it. Mage Hunter boom? Okay. Bit weird, but whatever. Right. Back into ambush. Just so they might feel a little bit confident when they if they come to take it back. He's gonna get gla cast gladiator there. So he's probably not going to, but we'll see how that goes. Probably actually going to head for Grond. Okay, bringer of glory. Uh, what we will do is go straight through here to Black Rock, and it's now ours. No worries whatsoever. Back to them. Uh, we'll just occupy that. Thank you. Just straight through and into Black Rock. Woman. All right. Uh, yep. We'll get that, and we'll get that. That one, and we'll get that one. Yes. Name. Easy peasy. Incarnate name. Uh, 
Let's go with a rally. Pull him back just a little bit. What is this foolishness? That army is relatively dangerous. You waste my time. Uh, that is a bit too, Blood so. Blood, death, war. Yep. Give you at least one unit of knights. Good, good. Looking fine there. Commandment is available over here. We need to increase corruption. So I know your they're not fair and well, to say the least. They've only got five towns left. She's absolutely destroying them now. How much does our little vassal here have? They've got seven towns now. That's good. That's very good. I need to back up to four. Good. Uh, how are we doing with our gifts? Oh, we've unlocked. Yep, there we go. We've unlocked the bloodthirsters now. So It's excellent. Through the eye. No, 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 no. Gained one gift of chaos. Lost through the eyes. See, I don't know what they'll actually do. I'm curious. I'm be curious. Uh, no, it don't really look like we need to do any building right now. Alright, well, we will see what happens, but that will happen in the next episode. So, this has been Asher Ninja playing Valkyrie, and I will see you in the next one. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you later.